All right, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and measure the make take the measurements for the for the aluminum sheeting. So I'm going to cut a piece of this out of here, and we're going to bend it over. Um, so let's see here. I'm just going to pull this off of my square. Okay. So I have about eh, about two inches from the bottom of this of this sort of engine mount extension to the bottom of the firewall. It's about man, it's probably like one and seven eighths. That's probably a better a better um, a better measurement. So about one and seven eighths to the bottom. I'm just gonna write this down here real quick. And then I need to go then I'm gonna bend that over obviously and I want to go back at least to past the landing gear. So the landing gear is gonna be like back in here somewhere. So I'm gonna take it back here. So I think if I go if I go about two inches, maybe two and a quarter, that'll give me a little bit more room to work with. So I'm gonna go two and a quarter deep. Two and one quarter deep. Okay. And then the width, let's see that real quick here. So I'm gonna be going in between these two um, pieces here. And I've got about three and a quarter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this out. So my long dimension is four and an eighth. That's gonna be folded. And then my short dimension is three and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, this is my long dimension. And I'm gonna cut my short dimension in this direction. So flip my, flip my square around here so I can read it. And I said, there goes the dog. Um, I did three and a quarter right here I'll mark it on both sides of the square okay so that's going to be my short dimension and I'm going to go ahead and mark that right like this okay and then my long dimension like I said is four and a quarter so I'm just going to go ahead and mark again my guy's upside down here so that's okay four and a quarter and um, again it doesn't have to be perfect because I can always make adjustments so there's four and a quarter and all I gotta do is put my put my square on this there we go okay so there's my you see I'm making a bit maybe too glary but there's my there's my uh, my pattern um, and then of course when we fold it, it's going to see what did I say one and an eighth or so. So let's just put it on here for fun. No, one and one and one and seven eighths. I think I had. So that'll be about here. That'll be about about right there. So so we'll draw this right here on here like that. And then this was yeah about two and of course yeah it's a little bit longer but that's okay. I don't know if it's gonna glare or not with the so there, there's the pattern so then I'll then down here of course we're gonna have our holes and I don't know the exact pattern yet but those are gonna be be on there like that and then of course we're gonna fold that over and then the landing gear is gonna go here right so the landing gear is gonna go right here all right and so that's going to slide right down in here and then like I said we're going to cut it and fold it over and, and mount it so um, that's that's what we'll do next so let's go ahead and try to cut this let's move this back out of the way okay so I'm going to try to I'm going to cut it with these with these snips um, and if you're doing something like this and you don't have this these um, snips you can use a hacksaw I mean not a hacksaw a, um, a jigsaw if you do have a jigsaw like a power jigsaw um, like a handheld um, like I said you could use a hacksaw and um, or maybe even a coping saw but a hacksaw or a jigsaw or you know or so but I'm gonna use these The problem with these type of things is they sort of um they'll bend it as they cut it um, that's okay because I can just kind of hammer it out so um, the reason I'm not gonna do this with the jigsaw is because it's just gonna be it's gonna be bouncing all over the place so I'll just try it with this first all right let's see And 
and again this is not going to be seen by anybody so it doesn't have to be beautiful as much as I'd like it to be so there's that piece here and I'm gonna go here so what happens is as it shears it, it sort of bends it along the tool okay so this is all super sharp so if you get done doing that I'm gonna do a little safety thing here you know it takes two seconds to do do something like this but now you have a little bit of protection obviously this side's sharp too so I'm not gonna go around the whole thing but that that side's really sharp when it when it shears it so put that over here okay so here's our let's bring our plane back here so this is gonna go in here like that like I said and then we'll bend it over the only thing that I have to work with or think about is how to go around this little block right here um, I could break this thing off and remount it um, but I think that this is gonna have enough strength I'm gonna try to just go ahead and cut a little window for it and and then do that with it so that's what I'm gonna do next so I'm gonna pop that in here like this and then I'm gonna mark that out on the other side or I can mark it on this side actually now I'll do it on this side I'm do the humps going back and forth I'll do it on this side so let me try to mark that out okay so let me see if I can get behind here feel sharpie <clears throat> okay so it's right there and I can get this it doesn't have to be perfect but we can get it close it's about three-eighths so I'm just gonna eyeball it. it's so right about there this will get us in the ballpark okay so there we go I'm gonna get this out of here so that's gonna be a little tricky because I can't cut it out with those shears so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to just drill it and then maybe with the roto tool and files I'll just cut it out but then that's just gonna go like I said right here it's gonna pop hopefully in front of this little our little um the little block for the cow and then we'll then we'll fold it over and then when I fold this over I'm gonna fold it over using a um, I have a vise so I'm gonna go ahead and bend it over now this is um you know pretty this is pretty pliable this is aluminum so if you don't have a vise obviously you could probably put this you know maybe secure this to the edge of a, a table or a wood block um, or even like a brick or something like that and then you can kind of like gently kind of hammer it over and try to get it to, to form it it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it fits secure and you can kind of bolt everything together so okay so I have the um, my little square marked my block so I'm hoping this comes out okay because I know that the, the light is gonna be glary so I don't want to <clears throat> so if they can see it so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the roto tool and um, oops and I'm going to have a have a, a metal bit in here um, for, for drilling metal and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the corners of this and that's gonna be my starting point and then I'll go from there I may sort of do like this um sort of like a sewing machine kind of pattern where you just kind of bop 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 around the edges with the drill and, I, and it's possible I can cut it with the drill bit but we'll we'll see okay so there's our little starting points um, probably been a little bit easier to do that with a full-size drill but anyhow proxon works pretty good so I think what I'm gonna do this is pretty soft so I think I'm gonna try to go around this thing and drill these out all along the edge let's see if this matches here first of all before I get too too excited about it get in there yeah this will work okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just just do a pattern around here and see if I can basically get that cut it with the drill
Okay, so there's our little pattern. Now I can, um, I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna use the bit now as, you know, it's a soft metal, so it's not a big deal. I, you wouldn't be able to do this if you're drilling into steel or something, right? So, um, but I think this is gonna be very, very helpful um, holding holding it because it's not the, the, like I said before, it's not the bending strength that we're, that, that's, that we're relying on. It's going to be the strength of this thing pulling upward. And I don't think the landing gear is gonna shear this, this uh, aluminum. Um, if it does, I'll be quite surprised. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use I'm going to go ahead and use the um, use the drill bit, sort of like a little router bit, and I'm going to go around and see if I can get that out of here. So I'm using eye protection, so if you do something like this, use eye protection. Um, there's a little piece. All right, so there's this hole here. Let's see how close I got. So I can see I'm a little bit, yeah, a little bit off. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and I think they'll get that to be able to, to work in there. That's cool. I think I can just file that. Okay, I'm using this little needle file, or it's flat, but it's a small file. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'll work this out. I won't do it all here, but I'm gonna try to get. Bingo. All right, so I'll, I'll clean this up a little bit better than, than that to get it to fit. But so now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, once I get this adjusted, um, then we can go ahead and make our bend. And I'll check again where I'm gonna bend it. You gotta be careful when you're bending because as you bend things, it sort of, um, it's hard to keep that fold line of exactly where you want it. So we'll worry about that when the time comes. But let me go ahead and clean this up and then I think we'll be um, done for today and then I'll come back and we'll do our own, we'll continue on with this. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and call it good for the night. All right.